Are you looking for a medium to large breed but you're unsure on what suits your needs? Well stick around, in today's video we're going to put two breeds head to head to find out which one would be better suited to you and your family's lifestyle. So let's take a deeper look at the Chow Chow and the Bull Mastiff. Welcome back to the Fenrir Chow Chow Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Chow Chow Show. So let's dive into today's video where we'll be comparing these two beautiful breeds. The Bull Mastiff was created in England by gameskeepers in order to protect themselves. During the mid to late 19th century poachers would trespass onto the lands this was punishable by death but to the poachers the game from poaching was worth the risk many gameskeepers would be killed so the poachers could evade capture eventually the gameskeepers decided to create a breed that was brave and fearless a breed that would chase and capture these poachers and pin them down until they could be caught the breed was known as the gameskeepers night dog the breed was created by crossing a bulldog and a mastiff with a ratio of 40% bulldog and 60% mastiff. The bull mastiff would scare any intruders. They were also very trainable, so if anyone was caught on their property, the breed would pin the intruder, not maul them, and they would keep hold of them until their owners arrived. The UK Kennel Club recognised the Bull Mastiff in 1924, but they were accepted by the American Kennel Club in 1934. They were even ranked 40th out of 157 breeds. During 1935, the first breed standard was approved for the Bull Mastiff. Now let's take a look at the history of the Chow Chow. Famed for their teddy bear-like appearance, the Chow Chow is one of the oldest breeds in existence. It's believed that they originated in Arctic Asia 3,000 years ago before migrating to China via Mongolia and Siberia. They were first documented in paintings and on pieces of pottery. They they were a particularly popular breed amongst Chinese nobility. One Chinese emperor once owned over 2,500 Chow Chows that he used as hunting dogs. Sadly, they've been used for less ethical reasons over the years. Their coats were trimmed for the use of fur as well as being seen as a delicacy in China. In fact, the name Chow Chow is believed to have come from the Chinese slang word Chow, meaning edible. They've had many other functions over the years, including herding and guarding livestock, as well as guarding properties. They first gained Kennel Club recognition in the UK in 1894, an American Kennel Club recognition in 1903. Today they're ranked 64th out of 155 on the American Kennel Club popularity list. The Bull Mastiff has an imposing powerful look. They should be muscular and strong. The Bull Mastiff has V-shaped ears that are close to their heads. They have a large skull, a deep broad muzzle and a, and a wrinkly face. They have wide deep chest, straight long legs, big paws and a high set tail. Males usually stand up to 27 inches or 69 centimetres and can weigh up to 130 pounds or 58 kilograms. Females can stand up to 26 inches or 66 centimetres and weigh up to 120 pounds or 54 kilograms. The Bull Mastiff has a short, dense coat that's easy to maintain. They should be brushed twice a week with a slicker brush to help with any shedding. The Bull Mastiff comes in three colours, fawn, brindle and red. They also have a black mask and flashes of white on the chest is also common. The Chow Chow is a regal medium-sized dog. This medium-sized breed stands up to a height of 20 inches or 50 centimetres at the withers and can weigh up to 80 pounds or 36 kilograms. Females will grow to a similar height but typically weigh a little less. The Chow Chow has a broad skull which is small. They have an iconic blue black coloured tongue. They have small triangular ears which sit erect on the head. They should look strong and muscular and have strong legs. An interesting fact about Chow Chows is that they actually have 44 teeth. Most dogs only have 42. Chow Chows have a dense double coat that looks like a mane around their necks. They should be brushed at least three times a week to keep their coat looking clean and tangle free. They come in a variety of colours, including black, cream, red, shaded red, blue, white and fawn. Hey guys, if you want perfect puppies, like all my mates here are, and you're interested in how it is that as a professional canine behaviourist I go about raising and training perfect puppies, I have a completely free course that I think you might be interested in called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. There'll be a link down in the description box below it is completely free of charge and you can go and check it out right now so i can't wait to see you over there the bull mastiffs are clever and fearless breed they're very obedient to their owners they're a calm canine that will sit back and watch everything that goes on around them in fact they're often referred to as a silent watchdog they're laid back canines that only need around an hour of exercise a day when fully grown some may be more active than others. It's essential that you train your bull mastiff in obedience and manners, as if they're not trained in these areas, they can become stubborn, and you don't want this for such a large breed. Remember that whatever you teach them during puppyhood will follow them in adulthood. For example, if you don't want them on the furniture, teach them to do this from puppyhood, otherwise you'll have a large, heavy lapdog on your hands. 
The breed has a reputation of being a hard, aggressive breed. However, they're not aggressive. They've been bred over the years to guard and protect by pinning the person in question until the owners arrived rather than savage them. This is why the bull mastiff can sometimes get a negative reputation, but that can't be any further from the truth. The bull mastiff is a loyal and intelligent breed that will quickly pick up training. They'll think for themselves, so positive reinforcement and calm, firm and consistent training is needed. With the correct training, they'll soon be looking up to you for direction and guidance. Remember, leadership is love. Chow Chows are a moderately active breed. They'll join you on long walks or hikes, but they prefer a medium-sized walk as they only need a half an hour of exercise a day. As well as physical stimulation, they also need mental stimulation. Chow Chows can become quite destructive when they become bored. This can lead to barking, chewing and digging. However, when they're mentally stimulated, this behaviour is unlikely. You can stimulate your Chow Chow by using toys like Kong, Snuffle Mats and Puzzle Toys. The Chow Chows are very intelligent, which can make them hard to train. They don't seem fussed at pleasing their owners and can be quite selfish. However, a positive approach to training is still needed. Consistency is key with Chow Chows, plus plenty of treats for rewards. Chow Chows are often compared to being cat-like, as they prefer to do what suits them. A positive to this breed in regards to training is that they're known as clean dogs and they're very quick to learn to go to the toilet outside. The Bull Mastiff, despite its large assertive appearance, actually is fantastic around children. They understand the need to be gentle around little ones. The only issue you may have with them is their size. The Bull Mastiff may accidentally knock over small children, so interactions should always be supervised. The Bull Mastiff is a very patient canine that will very quickly create a strong bond with children so they can become protective over them. This is something to be aware of when your children have friends over. With proper training and socialisation, your Bull Mastiff should have no issues with children or other pets. It is, however, advised that if you're or looking to get another dog to add with your bull mastiff that you get one of the opposite sex to prevent tension they have some issues with canines the same sex as them without any socialization they can become wary of other dogs when out on walks if you have any pets like cats it's a good idea that your bull mastiff grows up with them rather than adding them to the family in the future Again, any interactions with other dogs or animals should always be supervised. Chow Chows are a naturally protective breed that will attach themselves to their families and protect them should they feel the need to do so. They're better suited to families with older children. If you have small children, ensure that interactions are always supervised. Socialisation is important with all breeds, but it's especially important with the Chow Chow. They have a naturally high prey drive due to their background as hunting dogs. This can lead to aggression with smaller animals or pets. They also are known to be unsure around other dog breeds or dogs the same sex as them. This isn't to be said that you couldn't own another dog or pet. From puppyhood you should get them used to as many different situations as possible, introducing them to sights, sounds and smells of the world around them. Even with excellent socialisation it would still be advised never to leave them alone with other animals for a long period of time. The Chow Chows certainly know their own mind and are a very relaxed breed when at home with their family. They will more often approach you for attention so be sure to let children know to leave them alone when they want some alone time. Both the Bull Mastiff and the Chow Chow are beautiful but different breeds to look at. The Bull Mastiff is a better choice of the two if you have a family with small children. Both dogs are on the medium to large scale of breeds that are protective towards their family. The Chow Chow is slightly less affectionate than the Bull Mastiff. It really is down to you which type of personality and look you prefer from your canine companion. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Chow Chow videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to touch you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Chow Chow Show.